Hey everybody, this is a quick informational video. I'm going to show you how to create an iTunes account without having to enter your credit card information. Uh, for this demo, I'm going to use an iPad. You can use your iPhone or iPad on this one. Uh, and also took screenshots and outlined everything to make it easier. So the best way to do it is you want to actually tap on App Store. And then you want to tap on the magnifying glass and search for something. You kind of want to find something that's free. So I just typed in calculator, pick the first one, and then you tap on the, uh, the free icon. Then it'll ask you if you want to install it, tap on install. And then since I'm not signed into any Apple ID or with an Apple ID, uh, I can either sign in or create new. So I'm going to select create new Apple ID. Then it'll ask me to select the country, press next. It'll ask you for terms and conditions. You got to scroll down and, it, and you have to click on agree. It'll ask you to confirm again. So you have to click on agree one more time. Then fill in your information, your email address and password, and make sure uh, it's also the password. You got to have at least eight characters, got to be at least one uppercase letter, and at least a number. So make sure you remember this information. Uh, once you fill in all the information at the bottom, click next. Then it'll ask you for your billing information. So since you selected a free app, it'll actually give you this option that says none. Normally, uh, if you're just going to go into settings and, you know, uh, Apple ID or iTunes account, it would ask you to enter in a credit card information. But since we're trying to download a free app, that's why it gives us the option for none. So just make sure there's a check over here. Fill in all your other information here. Um, billing information, phone number. Once you're done, press next. Then it'll send you an email to your email address, the one you just uh, entered in uh, on the first uh, pages. So go to your email, click on the link, then it'll ask you to actually sign in with the email address and the password, which is already your Apple ID that you just entered in on the first pages. Once you do that, uh, you can actually then download the app. The download will look like this and the little arrow, uh, thing will fill in. And then you can actually click on open to open your new app. Uh, hope this helped. Thanks for watching.